On this episode of Game Shack, I'm going to show you how to install some solenoids into your virtual pinball game. You can put these in your At Games Legend pinball, your Arcade One-Up pinball, or your very own build. I'm going to tell you guys how to do it, how much it costs, is it something you should do, and is it worth the time, effort, and money? All that and more coming up next. <laughs> Hey, hey, everybody, welcome on back into the Game Shack. I am your host, JDV, for EvilGeniusEntertainment.com. Thanks for stopping by. As always, you guys are this channel sponsor, so if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up on the way out the door, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. All right, the products I'm talking about now have come from Cleveland Software Design. A guy uh, named Philip Ellis puts this stuff together in his mad scientist laboratory. At least I presume that's where he puts it together. And what this does is adds a, a solenoid, depending on what kit you get, to your virtual pinball game. Now there are two essential varieties of it. You have the more complicated variety, which comes in six to 10, I think, solenoids. Anyway, a bunch of them. And you interconnect all of that into your computer and whatever virtual computer program you are doing. And you interact, these interact with the computer program versus the two solenoid kit which i'm going to be installing into my virtual my 4k build which is much simpler and does not require daw or any of the other kind of higher end virtual pinball type programs to work besides the complexity difference in that there's a huge difference in terms of cost the higher end kit's going to cost you anywhere from 400 to 600 maybe even 700 dollars depending on if you get all the bells and whistles versus i think i paid 120 dollars for the two solenoid kit which hooks up directly into the flipper slash encoder. So you don't need to program anything. You don't need to remap anything or anything else like that. Essentially you install it in and assuming you have everything hooked up right and have the power supply in, it's gonna give you a real nice click clack and I'll show you that here in a second. See what comes in the package. It took, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five days from when I ordered it to get here. Not too bad of a time at all. It feels like it was fairly well packaged just uh, based on the outside of the package. So this is going to be the power supply for the unit. See that obviously that'll go into the wall and these well, will go into either uh, solenoid there. All right so nice little compact package feels very nicely put together. And here is the meat of the matter. And there is the solenoids. All right, so you can see that there's a little, gonna be a little loop there. And end up being from the power from the amp will be right there. And yeah. You're gonna notice though, right off the bat, there are no instructions. And so that, in my opinion, is one of the negatives about when you deal with Phil over there at um, Cleveland Software Design is there is a shocking lack of any kind of literature. So you really do have to rely upon videos like this to figure out how to do it. All right, so this is everything that you get in the package when you buy this encoder kit. Here are the screws that you're going to screw into the cab itself. These are the solenoids. And of course, these are going to go to the buttons and this is going to go to your computer. And here's a little power supply, as I, like I showed you before. So you can see that it looks a little intimidating, but it's really not that bad. And hopefully it's going to deliver some results. Now, one thing to note right off the bat, it doesn't really matter which version you buy. Although these are nice little solenoids, they are not pinball solenoids. They're not the exact same thing that you're going to get in a pinball game. And that matters for two different reasons. One, it's not going to be as loud and as powerful as a real flipper is on a pinball. Those are actually very powerful. And if you actually ever have a real pinball game and accidentally flip your finger with a flipper, it'll hurt like heck. I mean, they're very strong. And there's another uh, magnet in those flippers which holds the flipper up without frying out the other magnet. So often you have the initial flip, like the whap, and then the, uh, you know, so like a buzzing sound as the flipper stays up. You're not going to get that sound in this. This is just a more simple solenoid. I don't know if these are for cars or what these originally are for. But they're not pinball solenoids, 
So that is going to maybe uh, affect a little bit. Let me talk a little bit about more why that matters besides just the noise right now. Okay, here you can see the more complicated system that you can get from Phil. This has three solenoids in it, uh, much more complicated coating system and a bigger power supply. One of the things that it will eventually be able to do is use these as triggered lights. So they'll match here. If I can compare these two, you can see the solenoids are very similar, but you're not going to get the rolling effect or something, you know, some of the uh, more complicated things you can get, but it's significantly smaller getting this if you have a smaller build like an owl. The buzzing sound that you get from holding a, a flipper down or holding the flipper up, you're not going to get that same sound out of these. This is pretty much just a simple clack, 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 clack. Now it does work. It works pretty good. You'll see here in my installation, I try to really install these up into the corner of my machine, right where my hand sits. So I'll really be able to feel the clack and I'll really be able to hear it because it's closest to my ears. I'm doing that because these aren't real solenoids. Well, they are real solenoids, but they're not real pinball solenoids. So you kind of try to help these things along. The install itself was very quick. Now it comes pre-wired for an Alp, so you won't have to change anything. If you're doing this on your own build or perhaps for the arcade one up, you might have to strip out the wires on the ends to hook them up to your flippers. Otherwise it was pretty straightforward. So here is the power supply. This is coming off the power supply here. All right, so there you go. And this goes right into the little spot that says power. It should click right in and we should be hearing it clicking. And we sure do. Very nice. Now I just got to repeat that whole process for the other side. It is not that hard. If you, it took me maybe 90 minutes to do it, two hours, but I was videotaping it and then taking my time just like everything to do with virtual pinball games, the more you can take your time and just do it at a leisurely pace, probably the happier you're going to be both with the build itself and your own state of mental health. Because a lot of these things are not quick. Uh, there's a, a lot of tight space in there, of course. You got a whole bunch of wires. It looks kind of crazy and everything like that. So just take your time. Make sure that the power is hooked up to the power, that the wire to the encoder is hooked up to the encoder, and that the uh, wires to the buttons are hooked up. And that is pretty much it for the two solenoid build. So is it worth all the trouble? Is it worth the money of doing this and everything? And I would say absolutely it is because it does help your pinball game feel more like a real, actual real world pinball. It will give you even more illusion that you're playing the real thing. And best of all, at least in my experience, it kept me from looking down at the flippers quite so much because if without that, you kind of have to listen more closely because the sound effect is coming in through the music and everything. Whereas when you use these solenoids, you're going to hear it. You're going to feel it. You're going to know that you've hit the button. And for me, it has actually increased my scores on almost all of the games I play regularly because it just gives me just that more tactile connection to the game itself. It lets you know that yes, you have hit the, the flipper and if the ball is going where it should, it should all work out. So anyway, it does help both the overall cool factor of your table, but it will also help your scores as well. So that's double plus good. So what's my bottom line on this? Is this something you really should look at? And I say, yes, you absolutely should, but I would get the $120, the much simpler version first to see if you like it, to see if you are impressed by it. Uh, I was a little tiny bit underwhelmed at first when I first got it because these are not Again, they're not the same thing as a real pinball solenoid. You're not going to hear that in the buzz when you have the, the pinball flipper up. They're not quite as loud. They're not quite as powerful. However, when you cram them in, they're really good and give, try to on all three sides or have as many points touching as you can with the solenoid. It does make a difference. It is a really cool thing. And if you are trying to impress your friends, don't tell them that you installed this and let them play the game. They're going to be like, wow. So it is, there is a nice wow factor to it. It is cool. And I absolutely would do it again. Now, the more complicated version remains to be seen if it's worth that big jump in price, time and effort. I'll let you know in another video what I think on that. But for now, 
absolutely, I would suggest that you do it. It's a great way to upgrade your Alp or your Arcade 1-Up. Definitely gives juice to your own build. And it gives me hope that that 4K version uh, coming down the line from At Games and the you know Gen 2 Alp, which will hopefully have something like this uh, built into it, it kind of gives me hope that that game is going to have a real wow factor too. All right, so that's going to wrap up this episode. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up on the way out the door. It really does help. Love each other, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the Game Shack. Mwah! Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.